All right, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to go over the master 0, 0, 0 indicator. It basically has four indicators all built into one, and I'm going to sh break those down and show you how we can use them to you know, find a trade. So let's start with the first one. The first one is called trend power. All right, as you can see, as price starts to drop, it plots this red diagram. And as strength and momentum pick up, it actually gets wider. So you can tell right here after a big drop, it had a lot of momentum and it starts to go sideways through here and it loses that momentum. And then it transitions to this other color. We're going to call that aqua. So you can change these colors on your own computer um, if that's too close to green or whatever you want. Um, I'm going to call it aqua. So the aqua here means it's still in a downward trend, still has downward movement. Uh, or sorry, downward momentum, but it's just, you know, not as strong as it was when it was red. So then it transitions back to the, the red, and we get a nice big drop right here and continued movement as well. Transitions to the aqua, red, aqua. And then we start to see it go long. Now we're going to call this lime. So the green color or the lime color, that means it's, it's going long, right? So as it starts to gain strength and head up, it turns green. Now, when green is starting to falter or run out of strength and momentum, it is going to turn this fuchsia color. So you can just barely see the fuchsia right here. So um, we'll scroll through here and see if we can see some more. Yeah, here's some more in here. So it must have transitioned from, from the red to the fuchsia. And then the the last color is yellow. So yellow means undetermined or sideways movement, lack of momentum, whatever you want. So it means stay out of the market unless you want to trade it sideways. <laughs> you usually don't see yellow for very long. It's usually when it's just transitioning from, you know, from red to the green. So so that is trend power and basically how you can read it. Um, Probably the best time to to place a trade is you know look look at these transition periods. Look when it's transitioning from red, you know, giving us some of that um, the aqua color, and then it, as soon as it turns green, you know, imagine had you waited till it posted, maybe you enter on this candle right here, and you were able to ride this movement up, right? That was when it first transitioned from red to aqua to green and a great trade right there so all right so here is the S&P uh, 500 ETF spider ETF so the symbol for that is SPY and it's on a 15 minute chart so this is the minor like I said it's the uh, the minor zigzag and it's gonna flip flop quite frequently basically the main thing we want to look for here especially when it starts to trend. I mean, this is just sideways movement. This is just noise. So we're really looking for a, a, a breakout, you know, big movement. And let's see if we can find one. I mean, this did, this was kind of the end of the day. Didn't really give much of a opportunity to get in. Let me show you if, if I can see what we're looking for here. What we really want is nice, clean. Here we go. Um, this would have given you a nice opportunity. So we're looking for... Probably a big movement like this. Notice how it's setting a new lower low. So we the previous lows, just look at the lows on all these minor. Uh, you know, they were all right around this price, 290 or so. And then we had one big breakout, right? It dropped down and it set a new lower low. And then it pulled back. Right here would have been a good opportunity to get in, drop down, set a new lower low. So it went from this low to this low pulled back a little bit, didn't break that high, and then dropped down again. So this would have given you opportunity, you could have got in right here, or right here, and either one of those would have been a decent trade. So uh, just just look at that miner, um, look and see if it's trending, you know, is it going sideways, like back here at the beginning? It was mostly just noise, right? Not setting new highs really, um, definitely not setting new lows, it kind of broke out, came back up, you know, that's that's just noise. If you want a really good trend, um, 
uh, sorry, a really good trade. We want that trending, you know, and, and setting new highs or new lows. Scrolling through here to see if we can see one. Here, here was a decent one, right? So when the day first opened, the gap short. Um, started retracing some of that, pulled back, went up, pulled back. Each time, though, look at the high from here to here to here. Each time, it got higher. New, a new high, pulled back, went up, pulled back. And each each time it pulled back, you know, maybe this is the way you trade. Uh, that each one of those gave an opportunity to to enter and continue on. So let's add the major. We'll just add it right on top of this, so you can see what it looks like. In fact, well, yeah, we can leave it on. So on mine, it's. Uh, I don't know, the magenta, the, the fuchsia color. Um, and then when it's going along, we also have, you know, uh, a green or a lime color in here as well. So it, it tries to grab the bigger trend. So that's how we can use them together. Um, now, when it's when it's playing out, you usually don't, you don't see which direction it's going until it changes direction. Let me, let me, let me uh, show you what, what I mean. Let me rewind this back just a little bit. So we can see here it posted this this big long green line right as it was trending long. You know that would have been a great trade. Um, let me hit replay on this. Let me show you um, what it looked like when it was playing out. So if we were to play it out and sorry it, it put the our other ind indicator on here. We're going to talk about that one later. So you can see um, it went from a low to a high, down to a low, up to a high. And it hasn't posted the, the next level yet. So we can assume that we are in a downward trend. Let me hit play right here. And then once that posts, all right, so there we go. So this is the, the minor we can see. And so we're still waiting for the major to post, but we can assume that we're in a downward trend simply because the major hasn't posted yet. So even though it's not going to be displayed, it's looking for the next level. Okay, right there, it just posted. So the minor just posted. Now we are in an upward trend based on the major zigzag indicator. See, and here's where I said these would be a, uh, great points to get in. And this is also another great opportunity to talk about our third indicator we're going to discuss today. This one is the the channels. Basically, this try and um, plot, you know, based off of the highs or the lows of, in the last in the previous range, and, and let you know if there's a breakout. So here you could see the price was getting pinched within here. It was bouncing, and we had this breakout right here. So the major hasn't posted, but the previous major was short. So we know we're we're in that upward trend. And the zigzag right here, all right, just posted. So according to the minor, it's in a downward trend. Oh, now it's starting to go sideways. And it's failing to set new highs. I would probably get out of that trade. So if you got in anywhere right here in the breakout or one of these pullbacks, you know, that was the end of the day. It might be a little tough. But, um, you know, maybe consider getting out of the trade right there. So um, now you have the... The trend, uh, sorry, the channels reposition themselves, go from this high, uh, and kind of get some of those, the bodies of those candles right there, and grab the high off that point. So now we have a, um, you know, a pretty big range. So the the channels aren't helping us too much, not unless he comes up and bounces off this again. Oh, there we go. So it's repositioned itself. So now we have a nice tight range. I'm gonna, you know, we, we could easily trade within this channel or even look up for a breakout either either down or, or up. Let's let's look at what the majors are doing right now. In fact, let's pause it real quick here, just so it doesn't go changing on us. Alright, so the majors. So the majors have transitioned. They're they're now the green color, right? So back here when we started the replay, it's got a big long major trend up to the high. So pull back, 
so it's already posted. We haven't seen the next major post, so we do know it's in a long trend based off the major zigzag indicator. Um, we're getting a little bounce here off of the channel. Let's see if it's going to hold or if it's going to break out. You know, we're looking for major movements, either um, breaking below that or or potentially popping back up. So we don't really know, but it gives us a uh, you know uh, a certain location to start looking, uh, paying a little bit more more attention to what direction it could go. So let's push play here, and we'll just watch another couple of bars before we talk about the final indicator. Oh, it was end of day and we had a break short so there we go it, it uh, broke out and it dropped to the short side okay we had the major post up here so we know it's in a short trend based off of the major zigzag indicator the minor looks like it's mostly sideways I'll get my cursor out of the way so we can watch it just for a second I imagine our channels are going to reposition Yep, still in this downward trend. Okay, the, the minor zigzag wants to post that short, but it's going to continue. Okay, if it gives us a little bit of retracement, you know, it could be a great short opportunity. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, but now we're in a longward trend. Okay, it's posted. Um, but now they're not in agreement with each other, so... The major has posted short, which means we're in a long trend, and the minor is currently going short. So let's uh, let's pause it right there, and we'll add in the the additional indicator rate. Well, I'll show you what it is, and then we'll combine everything together. So, all right. So this is the final indicator, and I'm going to layer them in here. So these are entry signals. We're still working on these, refining these, moving them around just a little bit, but I'll break them down for you as, as we have them on the charts right now. So we're still on that 15 minute chart for SPY. Uh, this happened a few days ago. Uh, and let's start with the, the first one, the, the white number one. So it could be a plus or a minus depending on the direction. Basically this is saying the, the longer trend has changed directions. Um, it could be a good point to get out of a trade or start looking for a trade going in that direction. So this is, we, we were just playing with the zigzag indicator right here, and this is where the first plus, um, plus one posted. So it's saying that this would be a good opportunity to start looking for a buy, and you can see that it went long. We'll fast forward a little bit over here. Here's the next one, a negative one. So major transition uh, a major change in the trend and it's going short so right here we have a drop uh, I was doing the replay so I can't uh, I can't go that way anymore let's go back and look and see what the previous one was you can see that they happen a little less um, frequent uh, but they are that major transition so we have a buy here and then it takes off and goes on a massive run over the next couple of days all right so that's that's the plus or minus one. Let's add the next one. And this is a black plus three. So let's go ahead and add that. All right. So the next one is the plus or minus three. On my chart, it's, it's black. Uh, so basically what this says is this is a great entry point. So we, the trend has been determined. And this is just a continuation of the trend, but there should have been a pullback or a decent uh, entry point to get into that trade, you know, in this case, long. So we have the plus three. It went up um, overnight. It jumped, pulled back, saying get in if you missed your initial, initial entry or maybe you could add to that position and take it long. All right, so we have that um, plus three. Let's scroll over till we find the next one. All right, right here we have the minus three. So this is saying it should be a good opportunity to go short. You can see it had a, a high the previous day, 
drop down, gaps lower, and then it gave us entry signal. Fortunately, on that trade, you probably didn't make much money. Um, if you stayed in it long enough, it would have paid out nicely. But it did give us another entry, a possible entry signal right here, and that one worked out great. Here's another one after this initial candle. So you'd get in right here, and a great trade right there. Here's another one. So all these are means the trend is continuing, and it's a great point to get in. All right, so the next signal is the plus or minus D3. And basically what that's saying is the minor trend broke up or down. So on that minor trend, we've set a new high or a new low. You know, basically, basically a breakout, and, and it's going to be a good trade to get in. You know, a good, a good point to get in had you missed, uh, you know, that major transition. So here we can see here, uh, you know, we had the black one, great trade. And if you didn't get in, or, or maybe you took profit and you want to get in again, we get this break. We get a new low. So a new lower low here, and a great little trade. This one's not a huge amount, but it did go down. Up here, this one, kind of a false signal. Um, let's see. We had a great black one, meaning it was continuing. Big, huge drop. Uh, look at the retracement on that candle. That means instability you know the, the the bears were not able to keep it down there uh, the bulls pushed it back um, you know kind of an ugly uh, ugly candle I probably wouldn't have gotten into that but you can see there was an example right there all right great so these ones are the blue signals let's see if we can see any of these they're similar to the black so it basically means continuation it's just different settings so if you like those, you can, you can trade on those. Um, so here we had a, a long, uh, sorry, a run long, and it gave that signal. It would have been near the end of the day. It did run against you. Um, you received another one later the, the next day, and then it would have paid off. Here we have one. Didn't work out. That one didn't work out either. So... As, as you're using this indicator, give us feedback. Maybe you like the black indicator or the black entry signal. Maybe you like the yellow. Maybe you like the white. You know, maybe you're struggling with the blue one. Let us know which. Let us know which ones you like. We want your feedback. You know, we want to tweak. We want to perfect it and make it as good as we can. All right. This is the final signal, and it's the S. So the plus or minus S. And that, bas that basically means there was a pullback in the major trend, and it could be a great entry you know, for continuation on that trend. So here we see the, the negative one, so the trend is short. There's a big pullback, and it gives us that, that negative S. Um, so would that be a good trade or not? Uh, I guess we would have to replay it. Let's, let's just replay it and see what happens. We'll speed it up a little bit here. Looks like if you would have stayed in it overnight and it gapped short, yes, it would have been a good trade. So there's another entry signal on the yellow. I'm going to stop this. I want to go and look at some more of those white signals. All right. So here's an S. So the trend, looks like the trend, previous trend was short. Yes, you had this very long trend short, and uh, it's transition long, but it's saying that that is a great entry point. Um, yeah, you could have got a couple of pips if you stayed in a couple of pips. I'm thinking about Forex here. Um, you could have had a decent little movement here if you stayed in overnight and did a gap long. So it doesn't look like these happen as frequently as some of the other ones. But they all work together. They all give you a different entry point. So like I said, we want to hear from you which ones work, which ones you don't think work very well, and you know which ones you, you take consistently. So, All right, let's do this. Let's pause right here. I'm going to add all the indicators back in, and then we're going to run through basically what I would look for if I were to get into a trade. Okay, now I've loaded all four indicators on here. And let's do this. Let's just, just scroll back. 
let's just pick a point here in the past. Let's not even worry about what's going on. Okay. Now let's let's try to analyze this and decide, you know, what direction we would trade. To me, this just looks like noise. Um, we, we can we can play it. Oops. Let's drop this over here. And then, oh, we gotta slow down a little bit. Let's let's look for a trade. Let's see if we can analyze this and decide which direction we could we could trade this. So if this were going on, I would basically be looking for a breakout. These indicators work better maybe with trending trades, um, not so much sideways movement. But let's let's see if we can get a breakout. All right, we get a little pinch here in the channel. Looks to be breaking long. There we go. Let's pause this for one second here. So let's just let's just see what it's been doing. So we have the major, the uh, the major zigzag. So it's short. You can see the color, and it went from this high point to the low point, to the high point here to the low point. So we know that the major is in an upward trend. And we have the minor, right? The minor's white, up down, up down, and the minor just broke out. It's already it's already basically posted here. It's it's at a fixed point at the relative high, so that means it's in a, a downward trend. So I don't know if I'm ready to get into this going long. If we see that minor post short somewhere down here, then both would be in agreement. And look at our um, look at the trend power down here. It's green, so that is in agreement as well. So if we can get all three of these in agreement. Um, we're above this channel. Hopefully, we can see it bounce around here and take it long. That would be a decent trade. All right, let's let's play this out. I'm going to keep my finger. I might pause it here in a second. All right, so we can see that the miner just posted. I'm going a little bit fast, right? If this were if this were a 15-minute chart, you'd have time to get in, uh, you know, somewhere on this on this uh, candle right here. Okay, but that would mean the minor is in upward trend. The major hasn't posted yet, so the major is in upward trend, and the trend power is green as well. So let's let's say hypothetically we get in on this right about here on this price, 289.45. I'm not going to draw a line or anything on there, but just just remember that. Okay, let's hit play. There we go. So we have a little bit of hesitation, but you can see the, the minor zigzag came down, set a new higher high. We had a breakout above this level. And right there, if you were trading that with, with options, um, you know, had this been Forex or anything like that, it would have been a decent little trade right there. Um, now it's saying it's in an upward trend again because we had the minor post. Let's see what it's going to do. Let's see if we get more continuation long. If not, I mean, that was a, that was a decent movement. Um, you know, 15 minute candles. So 15, 30, 45, and that was an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Upward movement. Let's keep going here. All right. It's kind of topping out. So that's saying it did not set a new high. And we have the little bit of a retracement right there. So that's how we can use those miners, right? It posted. It posted. It wasn't quite high enough. Maybe we want to consider getting out right here. If we're not seeing those set higher highs or higher, you know, or lower lows, uh, consider an entry, an exit point. <laughs> Struggling with my words this evening. Like a big candle. Look at that movement. Just sideways movement. All right. Channels have reset. They look pretty good. They're saying we're in an upward trend. You can see that bouncing off. Um, let's read the major. The major says we're in an upward trend as well. Let's come down here and post it. The minor setting higher highs. And we opened the day, had a great big jump. So that everything was in agreement. We had the trend power, we had the major, the miners were starting to set higher highs and higher lows as well. 
and a nice big jump at the open. Okay, so that, that probably wasn't the best trade ever. We, we haven't seen any trade signals, but it is an example of, of how I would use everything in combination with one another, right? What, what, what are the channels doing? What's the trend power? Is that the same color as my zigzag major? Um, look for the zigzag minor for the entry point. Uh, is, it, is it setting higher highs? Is it setting higher lows? Or is it kind of just all over the board like back back here, you know? And they're all about the same level. It's just, just moving sideways. I, you know, I don't want to trade that. So, Okay, this is interesting. This is giving us a white negative one. So that means the major trend has changed. Major major trend has gone short. Our trend power still hasn't turned red yet, but let's see if we can get a drop. Let's see if that uh, that's going to play out for us. I'm going to speed it up just a hair. I'll just kind of look at this real quick. Let's watch a couple of these signals. There was a black plus three. Remember that that means um, it's a black plus three hitting higher. Um, means continuation of the trend and a pullback has occurred so yeah there was that pullback so that one was a good trade this negative it's it, it just hasn't quite gone short yet there we go there's a negative uh, yeah negative three a black one and it's transitioning man what a, what a great trade that would have been right there so the white one signaled that we are now in a downward trend and then the black was a great entry point would have had to stay in, in it uh, for a few hours here and then it was the next day that it really started to drop great trade right there so okay that uh, that was a great example let us know if you have any questions reach out to us we'd love to sit down with you any suggestions anything we could do different so all right thank you